Welcome back to Scott's Retro Collectibles. So, guys, it's a pickup video. Bits and pieces I've picked up. There's loads. There's comics, toys, absolute grail of an item, which I've been waiting for for ages before I've done this video. Uh, yeah, you're going to like it. You're going to like it because I like it. But let's get straight into it because there's a hell of a lot to go through. So, firstly, in terms of bits and pieces I've had sent, picked up, I'm going to start with this. Got to start with the Cody. Cody Rhodes. So, AEW. Based on uh, ah, the LJNs back in the day. So this is from Dave World Toys. So he went to America. Went for about three months. Just doing toy conventions, toy shows, toy shops. Uh, so definitely check his channel out on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, he asked me if I wanted the variant. And I said yes of Cody. So he picked that up. And then he nicely threw in as well. A little snarf. I think it's a straw holder. What is it? 1984 I would have thought. Or oh, I'm a bit later. 1986. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I picked up that, well, picked up those given snarf. A few gaming bits and pieces. So CEX, I did pick up. I love this game. I don't have it in the collection. Uh, City of Lost Children. So it's a classic movie. Great movie. Uh, not seen it around. It go, it's not that expensive, about £18. But I did pick that up. CEX with a few vouchers, leftover vouchers. Loving that for the PS1 collection. Then was round my brother's house, uh, and he was going through his PS1. If you haven't checked out the video, so we've done a tour of his room, went through everything. And he had a game that I've been after for a while, In Cold Blood. I really want to play it. Don't know much about it. It's the Platinum Edition, uh, but really want to play this. Two discs, everything's in there. He picked up from a charity shop for £3, and he went, just take it. Just take it, as you do. So I got that. And as we went through his collection, so, guys, this is going back about two years ago. Uh, I say two, I always say two years. It was mostly about five years ago because I would have had my old car. I had like a people carrier. And we used to clear houses when people had uh, retro bits and pieces. Me and my brother and my other friend Stephen would go and clear the house out, uh, buy all their retro bits and pieces. Now, one of the collections we cleared out, I always say hoarder house, mostly the wrong term to use. It might disrespect some people. Uh, but this person had loads and loads and loads of trading cards. We originally went there for 190 boxes, sealed boxes, of X-Files Series 1. So Series 1 X-Files, sealed boxes, trading cards, about 100, 130, 160 boxes for £34. They wanted them shifted. So when we got there, it turned out that this person had suffered a little bit over time. And how they got over their anxiety was they were just buying absolute bundles worth of trading card boxes and trying to complete card sets. So they had loads and loads of card sets and it didn't turn out they just had X-Files. So we were about a day to, a day late, a day late. Someone had just cleared out all their NBA. So every single basketball from about, she said like late 90s, uh, sorry, late 80s to the end of the 90s just cleared out all the trading cards. So I was lucky enough to get, I think two boxed, Michael Jordan 90s boxes uh, of trading cards, basketball, which I put in my loft. She also had like garbage pail bits and pieces, uh, special cards, coins, just absolutely loads. So I, I ended up going out of there. I ended up, she wanted £90 to clear the rest because we were clearing it. She said, we're doing her a favour. We ended up taking Judge Dredd, the 90s, Bob Wire. I say there's loads of Man United boxes. Uh, but guys, you'll be saying, what the hell did you do with 130, 160 X-Files Season 1? So I was literally just trading them. So I was going into comic shops. I was going into toy shops. This is before the thing was huge. So it would have been later than five years ago. Uh, and I'd go in with about eight boxes and say, look, I've got these. I don't want to sell them. I just want to trade them. Do you want to do a trade? And they'd, they'd be like, yeah, I'll give you £160 worth of... Uh, store credit, go pick what you want and I'll take those boxes. So I used to do that. I used to get loads of bits and pieces and it was great fun doing that. And it would have been, yeah, because it was before GoPros and everything. Everyone's doing channel stuff. Uh, but I used to love doing that. So again, that was great. But one of the, what I'm getting to here, one of the pieces that he had, so he cleared out all the little bits and all the stickers. My brother wanted all the sticker bits and pieces. Uh, so I want to say like the, the ones where you'd scratch, sniff, smell, etc. All those stickers. Uh, two of the boxes he had, and I didn't realise he took these and he had these, which I think this is like garbage pail kids, sealed box tops. Uh, don't know, I don't even know what year it is, but you've got it in there. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, let me have that. And he's like, yeah. And then the other box was a little bit open. So we tore it open. We opened some of the stickers and just went through them. You would have seen them on his channel. But oh, it says from 94. 
So yeah, stickers. So yeah, pick, took those. That go into my collection because I've got loads of sealed cards and sticker boxes myself. And then he picked me up from CEX. So two Game Gear games. And I love it when it does this. And he goes, do you want them? I'm like, yes. So they've marked them as unboxed. Mortal Kombat. Now the box is a little bit battered. Might be why they put it as unboxed. I don't think they purposely go, oh, it's, I'm just going to sell it as an unbox. I think if they believe it's a little bit battered, I think some stores in CEX will just put unboxed just to get rid of it. Uh, but it's got all the instructions, warranty, etc. Uh, so yeah, I've got that from my Game Gear collection. So Mortal Kombat. And then Power Rangers. Loving Power Rangers. Do like the Power Ranger games. So pick those up. Let's put those over there for a minute. Uh, nothing I picked up. So Ray, Gu Ray Gun. Where is it? I've got stickers everywhere. Ray Gun cards. I pick up loads from... Uh, Oh, I was trying to see, guys, I have got it here. I've got them all here still. Now, I do get some of these frames, but he's been kind enough to send me stuff in the past to open up, which I have opened up. Uh, but, yeah, ray gun trading cards. So bits and pieces, like cards we wouldn't have got back in the day. So like Last of the Starfighter, he designs, produces, makes his own cards. Little stick of gum in there as well. Uh, and these these are great. So I did have the Makami one, which I've opened on a previous video. And I'll put a link up to his Instagram as well, because he's got some great pieces on there. Uh, and then he sent me a few cards. So these are like the cards. So you'll get like some Street Fighter cards. Here you go, Donkey Kong. Shaking a bit. It's, free, it's been freezing here, guys. So yeah, you can see that. But I'll put those back, I'll put those back in there. I do like this stuff. And I have got some of them framed over in the other side. The Mac and Me. So you've done a Mac and Me. Obviously here, Mac and Me set. Uh, and I've got those framed in a little glass case that I might show you in a bit, actually. There's my other one. Yeah, there's my other one, my Mac and Me. I love Mac and Me. So yeah, I've got that. I think the other cards I might have already framed. There you go. Who doesn't like our friend at It? Pennywise. So yeah, great, you know... Absolute great guy. So, what have I ordered off him this time? I haven't opened that piece yet. Sent me a few bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. So, some more cards. Spider-Man. Who remembers these Ghostbusters? I had to get the real Ghostbusters cartoon. That he's just made produced i think there's still some on his instagram page definitely check it out loving that the sticker that will go in a frame actually and then i picked up the pin badge have to represent i'm loving that and then this is let's open this let's open this this is what came with the series one ghostbusters i believe it's 20 pound for the pack and this one i'm about to open and show you guys Try and just slide it out. I'm not keeping the wrapping paper. I was about to say I'm going to keep the wrapping paper. I don't know why I get like that. No, I've got to just open it, Scott. It's the OCD kicking in. Am I going to keep it? Can I put it back in the pack? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. And it's on the old like backing that you get the toys on, etc. So he's done a brilliant job there. I'm hoping we get the other ones coming out and I'll just get all four of them. Yeah, collect them all. There's got to be, but he gone. So I'm loving that. Loving that. So I picked those up. That can go in the bin. Put that over there. You can put all this back in the envelope, as you do. Guys, we've got some absolute... I was about to swear, fantastic items coming up as well. This is just the start. Just the start. Going to run out of room. Now, let's go on to charity shops, because I've been picking bits and pieces up from charity shops. I think... It's becoming harder to find stuff in charity shops, and that's not like me to say that. I'm still doing okay, and people go, oh, you're doing good. But considering what I was doing a year ago, two years ago, it's drying up. And I don't know if it's because some of these charity shops are starting to, you know, they understand what the prices are in the games, etc. People are not bringing the games into charity shops because they know you can get more if they sell it online or if they sell it at a boot sale. Uh, so, yeah, it's little bits and pieces I'm picking up for more for the, my trading CEX videos or buying bits and pieces i trade them into cex i don't tend not to sell a lot of the dvds games that i find in charity shops on ebay etc i tend to trade those all in cex because i just like it it's a bit of the kind of the thrill of the hunt i go out find it trade it in cex get something that's 
worth a bit more for my collection uh, and I like to see if the prices go up or down. Playing the stock market in gaming. Uh, but charity shop, what I've picked up so far, I'm going to show you everything I picked up in terms of DVDs to begin with. There's a lot, there's a lot. And I'm like, oh, where do I start? Right, let's start with this pile over here. So, this pile, we've mo some of this was picked up today to be fair. Uh, so for this pile, paid 10. Maybe, I don't want to say a bit too much, but I like to make a bit more of a markup than what I'm currently making. But Pirates of the Caribbean, PSP, that's going into my collection. Need to check kind of clear that up a little bit with the sticker at the front so i'll do that big mother truckers i think i've got it for gamecube i need it for ps2 so i picked that up mummy returns i love these games brilliant games uh mostly for trading but not as much so i think i overpaid for these ones they wanted one pound fifty uh i picked them up because they're xbox one but blood sport blood sport blood bowl two uh king's bounty Desperado's free. I think I've overpaid slightly for those, given what the trading was. I just saw Xbox One and picked them up. I didn't even check. I should have checked. Uh, and then some more games. So Harry Potter. Skate free, skate free. All from the same shop. Portal. Get about £4 trading. So pick that up. Mama's Cooking 2. Is it 2? It is 2. And then £1. I love picking up. I always pick up Harry Potter box sets. You're going to see quite a few because it's what I go for because it's easy trading for me. Uh, and I get them really cheap around my area anyway so one pound for the full eight set dvd it's about i want to say seven to eight pound trading so that's gone straight away that will be going into trading pile with most of these to be fair apart from that ps2 game and uh, psp because i think i need those myself scott you're running out of room you're running out of room let's put them down there paid one pound fifty for grand theft auto 5 playstation 3 i feel like something's missing out of here i don't know what should have been in here but it is the steel case. It's got all the maps. £1.50. It's got the downloadable piece on the other side here. Uh, but I'm wondering, because of how big the box was, paid £1.50 for it. Should it have something else in there? It feels like it's missing a little book or, you know, like postcards. It feels like there's something missing from there. But nonetheless, it's worth more than the £1.50. Uh, oh, this is a bargain. £1. Another Harry Potter. Blu-ray set though, and I think this trades in for 14. Uh, so that'll go. That will go straight away. And guys, you can see when I say Harry Potter, because another Harry Potter, but this is only one to I think it's one to six. So it's not as much because you're missing the last two movies, but I think it's about I want to say about five pound trading. Uh maybe a little bit more. So yeah, pick that up. That was a pound. Another Nintendo Dogs. Always finding uh only Fools and Horses. Godzilla. You would have seen I posted on Instagram. Paid 50p. I think it trades in for a bit more in CX. I want to say a few pounds. Uh, maybe like five. So that would be traded in. Sherlock Holmes. Box set. Again, guys, I only pay a pound for box sets in my charity shop. They sell them for a pound. You just want to get rid of them. Sopranos, one pound. So, and that's got a good trade in as well. So they are all my trading bits and pieces so far. As I look to build up my trading collection with CEX again to go for retro games. Put that bag over there. Oh, let's get these two over. Let's get these two over. These are strange ones. So, guys, I was in the charity shop. Saw a mini Henry. I don't know. I was picking it up. And then there was like three people behind me. And they started going, oh, look, mini Henry. I'm going to pick that up. And I thought, well, no, I'm going to pick it up. It's a little bit of fun. It was only one pound. Uh, I think it sells because I did check on eBay. I think it sells 15 to 20 but I'm literally just going to use it on my desk. I'm so messy with crumbs. I think you plug him in and I, I think he actually hoovers. He is a desk hoover. He actually vacuums. That, God knows how he actually does that if he takes batteries. That's not been open. Uh, but yeah, I will open it up and that, give that a go. Now, another one I picked up. So whenever I do my live charity shop hunting videos, everyone's like, Scott, you've gone past this. You've gone past that. Upskill yourself on this. So I've tried to do it a little bit with LPs, final, still not the greatest. Clothing, it's like straight over my head. Not too sure. I tried to dabble in it in the past. And that was in terms of buying something, flipping it straight away, putting money back into my collection so I can spend on more bits and pieces, bigger grail items, I'd say. Uh, that just didn't happen. I just don't know what I'm doing with clothing. Tried it, looked at different bits and pieces. It's not for me. Knocked it on the head. Now, I've had a couple of people saying, Scott, you're going past printer ink. 
And some of the printer ink you're going past, you can pick up, it's a few quid, and it's like 50, 60, 70 pounds. So I was like, okay, when I'm in a shop, if I see it next time, let me scan. So, that being said, I picked up three pounds, a creative, what is this? It's like a creative, oh, sorry, photo value pack, Callan, three pounds. I did scan the back, I scanned the back on eBay, and sold listings with like 50 to 60 straight away. So I'm, I'm going to throw this straight on eBay for 50 quid. See how I get on. It's completely sealed. Uh, and then that's going straight into the collection. So that is why I purchased that. I'm going to give it a go on printer ink. See how we get on. So we've got that. That's done. Now, I was saying earlier about ray gun collectibles. Ray gun collectibles. Ray gun trading cards. Uh, and what I tend to do when I get trading cards and a few different ones, I've got Pokemon ones you would have seen in past videos. Uh, I like it in these little glass. I say glass, plasticky glass. Plasticky glass, that's a new one. Uh, these the display cases, magnetic, four magnets in each corner. And I just put cards in there. I put the Foot Locker Panini cards in here. Absolutely loads of Foot Locker cards. I've got loads. Uh, so I put them in there. That one's upside down in the middle. But yes, so... Everyone keeps asking me in terms of my brother, friends, Scott, if you get any more, please can we have it? Where did you get it from? Now, guys, where I got these little frame things from, I got them from a charity shop and they are actually Spurs photo frames. So for some reason, around my area, I don't know why, especially Oxfan. Oxfan has got absolutely shed loads of Spurs bits and pieces, rucksacks, badges, key rings, these photo frames, uh, which come in, they go pretty quickly. Uh, and I don't know where they're getting from. I don't know if they an old the shops cleared their old stock and they've just give it all to Oxfam and they've distributed it across their stores. Absolutely no idea. But when I find these, I always pick them up. So my brother wants one for three of his Pokemon cards. So I've got Charizard, Blastoise, and is it Phenator? In my one, I want to do another one with some more Pokemon cards that are close to me in terms of some of my favourite Pokemon. And then I want to do a couple of Marvel ones. So I've got two for myself. And then one for my brother. And all they are, guys, they've got like this. You're supposed to like put this in the background. I ain't putting this Spurs thing in. It goes straight in the bin. I'm not a Spurs fan. And yeah, so you can put two photos there. Throw that away. I'm more interested in this. So it comes wrapped up. Literally unpeel it, the plastic around it. And then there you go. Good to go. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with those. I picked up three. It was strange though. So the other two were priced at 420, 4.29, and I don't know why the other one was priced at four pound. Now it's only 29p. I'm not fast, but it was strange that they were all differently priced. Yeah, 3.99. But yes, so pick those up. Pick those three up. Let's put them over there now. Charity shop find. I don't know. They just gave this to me because uh, it was sitting in their bags to give to customers. You know, like if you want a bag, and I was like, oh, how much for the bag? And they were like. Oh no, if you want it, because I buy quite a bit out there, they're like, just take it, please just take it. I don't know nothing about it. Uh, I did put it on my Instagram and someone's like, yeah, it's a limited edition bag they brought out with Prince's Trust. But I just love the Adidas bits and pieces. I'm hugely into like my sports brands. Uh, yeah, I love that. Look at the shoe box. The little thing. It's just a tote bag. Just a tote bag. So that was a freebie. Uh, charity shop that you'll see on a live charity shop video coming soon. So I've had to do it in two halves because half the video is done back in 2022. I need to finish it off in 2023 because I only found a few bits and pieces. I don't like to put out a whole video with little bits where I've only found one item. I like to do it so they're jam-packed and there's a lot of decent items finds in one video. Uh, but I'll show you what I found so far and then you'll see it in the live video. So I didn't know this existed. Uh, it's still weird. Still don't know a lot about it, but... Small Soldiers, brilliant movie. I've got a lot of the toys. I never knew they brought out an Action Man style Hasbro. It's a major chip hazard. I did look online. I can only find him in America. Uh, but yeah, major chip hazard as an Action Man. Now, guys, when you watch the live video, you will giggle. Because there's loads of Action Mans in this bin. And basically, they all had the wrong clothes on. And I, find my, I found myself just taking clothes off of Action Men. And putting them onto the right Action Man. And I was like... What has my life become where the hobby has got me where on a Saturday morning I'm stripping off little action men and taking clothes to put on the action man I want to buy. Now, yeah, you've got to watch it to appreciate the actual commitment of the hobby. Uh, but I couldn't find these boots, unfortunately. But Major Chip Hazard as an action man, I, I still don't. It just, it seems weird. I didn't even know these existed. But there you go. So you got that. 
And then when I brought that, I thought, I've got to buy something else because I kept going back and forth to this item. I brought it, I paid £4 for it. But it's like a, I don't know what it, I don't know if it's Euro Disney. So it's from, where's it from? So it just says Disney. But I don't know, I just liked it. I just thought it was really cool. It's a taxi, American style taxi. So I'm guessing it comes from Walt Disney World in Florida or California. Uh, and it's got all the characters on it, right? I like that. Solid, solid plastic. But yeah, there you go. Four pound pickup. So I picked that up. Back to the charity shop. Now, I love buying my bundle of figures when you see a good one. I was quite surprised. So paid two pound for these in a St. Christopher. Sergeant Slaughter. Sarge, I haven't even opened them. Sergeant Slaughter. Ray. Uh, Egon. Another Ray. And then that is a Kevin Costner. Why am I doing it? Let's just open it. I own it. I own it. Why am I doing this? I own it. Come on. I can put them straight into the square drawer after as well. So you've got a classic Egon. Just basic. Needs a little bit of a clean. He's there. Pay £2 for this little lot of toys. Got Ray. Mostly the figure you see. If you ever go anywhere, you always see Ray or Egon with the broken tyre. Uh... But you always send 10 CDs Ghostbusters. So I'm assuming these done really well. This was the second series, if I'm right. Uh, and yeah, you just need so many of those. There's another Ray. There's Mr. Costner as Robin Hood without his cloak and crossbow. And then the, only, the reason I picked it up, because I've got all those in it. To me, these are like commons. You see these a lot. Not so much the Kevin Costner, but the other ones you see all the time. Surprised to see a Hasbro. But then your mind starts going into overdrive, right? What else did they have there? Did they have one, two, three kid? I keep saying one, two, three kid all the time. Uh, but yeah, quite good. Movement's still there. Uh, paint looks pretty decent. A little bit off the back. But yeah, a good figure. Two pounds. Picked up. That can go in the bin now. That bit. Uh, and then I've got a bag here, comics, and then toys. Oh, and the special, and the special. Guys, you can see there's quite a lot. Uh, right, St. Christopher's again. Pick these up. They had it for £10. So they were there since the 22nd of the 12th, because they date everything. Uh, now, I looked at them, and I was like, I can't pay 10 I think they sell for 10 Trading, I want to say, you maybe get 5 Uh In the end, they because they saw me looking at them, they're like, oh, they've been there for a while. Do you want to take both of them for 5 so I took both of them for five. I said, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll take those. Uh, it is the Switch one, which is better. In my eyes, that's better because it's got the Star Fox characters. I don't know if the rest of them come with a Star Fox in, or if that was just a Nintendo only piece. Uh, but picked two of them up there. So I got two of them. Now, I will check. I am going to check with Ed Hunt if he's watching. Uh, if Ed Hunt needs one, I will give him one because I know he likes his uh, Switch bits and pieces. So one's there for him. Now, other bits and pieces. So... LPs. This is in another charity shop. This is one pound. I don't know why I do. I'm just picking up anything that reminds me of my childhood here, guys. Uh, do you remember? I love R&B. I love R&B hip hop. Um, first love though is movie soundtracks. I always say that. But after a little bit of the 90s, I'm not going to say I was like some kind of. I was going to about to say hard nut, but that don't sound right anymore, does it? I don't think people say that. Like we say pucker. Uh, other bits and pieces. We'd always be like, oh yeah, that that that. Uh, so yeah, but Terror Squad. Terror Squad. Lean back. Fat Joe. Can't get it back in there. Let's do this. Let's do this. Put that in there. Uh, games, games, games. Oh, there's some box sets as well. I know where we're going with this. Let's get these games out. So again, guys, these were free for one pound because I remember this charity shop. She so had Tony Hawk's Proven Ground, Smurfs Dancing, Red Steel. I just picked these up because they were there. They were free for one pound. I don't know. I'll mostly just try and get rid of those at a boot sale, to be fair. Uh, Secret Army. So I think these sell for quite a bit. So I've got one, one to three, but in no little like slipcase. So I might have to sell those online. Uh, and then PSP games. Again, free for one pound. It's always good when you find a Wii Sports. I've always finding those. DS games. So, Hamsters 2. Dogs. My Sims. Professor Layton. Nothing great. And then I thought there were some alright ones here, actually, for the Wii. So, you got Monopoly. 
We Resports. We Resports. We Sports Results. Mario Kart. Star Wars. Sonic. However, look, the case is missing the plastic bit. Harry Potter, one to five. And Call of Duty World War. I don't, I thought I might need this. It might be a common that I just don't have for my own collection. So I need to look, run out of space. I'm going to put them back in there. I'm put them back in there. Now, these are some better bits and pieces I picked up, and some of these will be trading. Uh, but before we get to that, guys, who doesn't remember, if you're, if you're into your retro, instead of getting pirates sometimes, we would always go for the VCD. I'd always be going up to Chinatown and going into the little shops and picking up the fee CDs. Mostly for me, it was Pokemon and Dragon Ball. Uh, but some of them I saw in a local charity shop in the CDs, and I was like, yeah, I'm picking these up. So these just would have been copies of the movies put onto like, you know, like, I was going to say JPEG. I don't even know what it is. Is it MP4? Stuff like that. And it would have just been burnt there. Uh, oh, it's so funny. So I think it's got, yeah, this is Pokemon 2000, the movie. Digimon. And then Pokemon, the first movie. So I thought, I've got to, right? I've got to pick these up. So I picked those up. Done, dusted. Grand Theft Auto 5, PlayStation 4. Right. David Blaine. I picked this up because it's autographed. And I remember him. I remember seeing this live on telly when he's in the box for, I don't even know, is it a few? Oh, 44 days above the Tower Bridge. Above Tower Bridge in London. So I remember seeing this on telly. Uh, but it's autographed. And then the disc is autographed as well. It says Chloe with peace. And it's signed. So I thought, you know what? For free for a pound, I'll pick it up. I'll throw it in there. Uh, bound in blood. Oh, it felt like there was nothing in there. But everything's in there. Call of Duty. Because I don't know which Call of Duty I need for the Wii. Because uh, I'm trying to complete. Well, I'm trying... I am trying to go for a set of Nintendo Wii. Prices are starting to step up as well, I'm noticing on CEX, which isn't the best. Uh, Far Cry, because I think I need that, another basic. And then, in terms of trading, so I did get, this was one pound, uh, Taxi, Seasons 1 to 5, complete set. Again, I think it's 16 pound trading CEX. Danny DeVito, this is an old, old uh, TV series. And then I picked up, again, one pound, because box sets are one pound, numbers. Whole box set again trading for 16. So you can see my CEX trading pile starting to pick up a bit. Uh, so you've got those, let's put those down there, we'll put those over there. And then these are oh, guys, I'm running out of room, I'm running out of room. I right, put those there, these are the toys. So went to my local comic shop. I think I've been saying in previous videos. They've bought a couple of storage units. There's toys in there, but they're, they're kind of working their way around to the toys. They're more interested in comics. It's a comic shop that I go to, right? They don't really care about toys, trading cards, etc. But if there's any there, they always give me a ring and say, look, we've got some toys in. Do you want to come down? Have first dibs, like just take a look at it. So they gave me a call and said, they've had a few toys come in. Not the greatest condition, but if you want to come down, take a look, we'll do your deal on some toys. So everything I'm about to show you, paid one, I want to say 120. 120 and I think my whole comics for I haven't been down there for about two to three months. So 150 in total, so 30 on comics. Price of comics have gone up. It's expensive now for these uh, monthly comics I'm getting. Uh, so yeah, 120 for the toys I'm about to show you. Let's go through them. Now, this was the cheapest of the lot. This, I, I think if I remember, I either threw this in or they said, oh, that's only a tenner. Uh, it's absolutely battered, falling apart. So I will open it, but I don't know who to open it. I've got to open it, it's battered. But it's legend. The Lord of Darkness. So you can see it looks quite yellow as well. But the figure is fine. Because look, I can lift it up and I can look at the figure. I can look at the figure. So dusty as well. I did try and give him a clean. Uh, so yeah. That one I'm more than likely going to open. Great deal. Because I think even the loose figure with all the bits and pieces. I think he's 30 to 40 pound. Uh, so we've got that. These ones are a little bit better condition. I need to give him a better clean. But you got Predator. Predator 2. Look at that. I think these are Neckers as well. Are they Necker? No, they're McFarland because they're the movie Manic ones. Series 6. So you've got that one. You've got another Predator 2. And I'll give these a thorough cleaning, guys. These will go into the collection. You've got an Alien. Alien. I love that one. Look at that. I do you like my Predator and Alien? Another alien. I think these are all aliens now. 
What alien is this? Alien 3. Dog alien. So got that one. Alien resurrection. Don't know how many more aliens there are that I can actually get. Uh, and then aliens. The war alien. Maybe my best alien movie as well. But loving that. So yeah, that's a good one. That looks like in good shape as well. So yeah, guys. 120 for all the McFarlane toys, which you got here. Hopefully you can see those. And then the Legend toy. Now I'm going to put these slowly in the box, just back down, and then I'm going to show you the last. I've saved the best till last. The best for me anyway. So I got this sent over. I brought this from a person in Ireland. Uh, guys, it's taken like... When did I buy it? I think I brought it at the end of... No. Middle of December, and it ju it's literally just come here today. So, what's today? 21st? 21st. I don't even know how we're going to open this. So, guys, I love my movie posters. And everyone's going, oh, he's got a movie poster. It's a bit obvious, Scott. It's not a movie poster. Not a movie poster. Oh, I don't even know. Something tells me that I'm going to have to take it out of this and then buy something new for this to go in. But I will put a picture up. Because I don't even know how we're going to do this. And guys, there is another pickup. I picked up some electrical bits that I'm going to show you. Uh, oh, mate. Oh, yes, yeah, massive. It's huge. How am I going to do this? Right, it's huge. Let's move everything over. Let's move everything over. Let's move everything over. Oh, guys, I'm loving this already, right? Oh, I don't want to spoil it without saying, but... No, get out. Where are you? Why are you stuck? Do we pull? Do we pull it? Right, let's go from this side. Let's go from this side. Everyone's like, "What is it? What's he got?" Guys, I'm. I oh, gotta make sure I don't cut it open, though, isn't it? Oh wow! I'm gonna end up. Do you know what? Yeah, let's take it from this end. Let's take it from this end. Let's take it. I've just thrown that into my toys. Matey. Right, let's do this. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand up. I'm in tracksuit bottoms. It's comfortable in tracksuit bottoms, guys. Right. How am I doing it? How am I gonna open this? This is, guys, I'm gonna say what it is. This is a this is a, a movie banner. Banner of one of the I love this movie. So it is. Let's see if we can get it done. So you see what it is? It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Oh, this thing is huge. I've got to do this back up. I don't even know where this is going. Oh, no. Oh, no. This has become an absolute nightmare already. What am I doing? I've got to move everything. I'm knocking everything down. But look at this. You can't. What? Vanilla rice. Secret of the use. It, it's huge. The guy wasn't lying. Thank you, Robert, for sending it over. He actually paid the postage as well. Splinter. Look at oh, it's huge, guys. It's absolutely huge. I'm gonna have to wrap it back up. I'm gonna have to wrap it back up. Go, go, go. But he told me it's huge. It looked, I'll put. A, I'm gonna put a picture up in the corner. Uh, guys. I'm not too sure where I'm putting this. I, <laughs> I was tempted to have it across the back, the back of me, uh, instead of seeing all this like toot and bits and pieces. But it's too big. It's too big. It's huge. I don't even know how he's even got his hands on this. Uh, but yeah, secret of the use. Ninja Turtles. When the movie come out, would have been in cinemas, etc. This would have been one of the banners. I'm gonna have to make sure this is really tightly done. Uh, and we're going to have to buy something for that to go in. That is huge. It's huge. That's my grail, guys. I love that. Now, I'm going to show you what else I've got. It's next door because I have a little like eBay pile. Bits and pieces that go. Uh, which then I can put this money back into the collection. But I did pick up two mini disc players. Like big systems. Now, I paid £20 for one and £10 for the other. So one's Panasonic and one is sony actually what i do guys i put a picture in the corner i'll take a picture instead of going all the way in there trying to pull it all out of the bags because i've got a fridge and everything in there uh but yeah great deal 
They've still got mini discs in them as well. I want to give one to my brother because he's got an old, old fashioned, just one CD player where this has got cassette, mini disc, and I, know, I think he's got some mini discs and CDs. So I want to go to him and one, I'll mostly just get rid of it at boot sale for more than what I've paid for it, obviously, just to put some money back into the funds. But guys, that is it for pickups. I want to say that's it. I think I think there's been more. I honestly think there's been more bits and pieces. Uh, oh. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Did I show these ones off? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I did or not. I don't know if I showed this one. So you would have seen my... Yeah, I think I did. I think I showed my Eddie Murphy autograph. Did I show the Tim Curry? If I haven't, I'm showing it again. Pick that up now. I've got the so I've got the cast of the children, and I've got the man himself, Pennywise. So I need to get all that framed. That was picked up, guys. I think that's it. I want to say that's it. As soon as, when I'm getting stuff, I just try and put it in a place where I want to say where there's space, but that sounds very holderish. Uh, but it's true. It just goes in the space. But I've just been plugging, I've tried to clear up some of my action figures. I'll, show, I'll give you guys a little tour quickly. I, hope, I, I think you guys love the little tours anyway, right? But let's just do this. Let's go around. So you would have seen where I've just thrown that banner, the piece of banner come in and just taken out some figures. Uh, but let's grab my phone so we can get some light as well. Because the light's not the best over here. But yeah, so now you can get to some of the figures at the back. Like you can see these go three deep, etc. Uh, maybe more than three deep because look, there's loads behind there. But let's put this back quickly. I'm smashing up the place. So you can see now some of the bits and pieces. People go like, Scott, what are you doing here with this? So, these I get these all the time, guys. I always buy them. Sorry for the light just shining on it. I try and get it out. I always pick up Detective Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, Detective Pikachu. There's more. The reason I pick them up. At a CX as well, guys. I only pay like three pound. It keeps going up by 50p. The trading card alone's worth anywhere from 12 to 30. So I pick them up with the trading cards in there. You could take the trading card out. You can go back in CX and just get your money back. It's crazy. I don't do that because uh, I'm a holder. So I hold the whole lot. And that, so that's down. So yeah, I always pick up those as and when I see them. I think you can see now a little bit more of the a little bit of the gaming collection but again guys they're like free back project zero which i was after for ages didn't realize i had it uh oh some of the graded cards i don't know if i've ever showed those off some of them but guys well you'll know if, that i love my trading cards where are they da, da, da. again look just scattered they're all scattered all over the building uh it's on there nine Try and get the light so it's not shining. Little Mew. Little fat Pikachu. You would have seen that in one of my pickup videos. Charizard. Sticker. Pikachu. Kind of like that one. They just have to go back in there. That's their home. That is their home. Uh, oh, Virtual Springfield. Absolutely love that. That's one of my favourite games. So I had to pick it up. A couple of Pokedex. Trading cards again. They don't have a home. These, I've kind of cleared this up now. So you can kind of see like the Stargate collection. There's one of the Hulk Hogan. You would have seen that, guys, that handheld turtle games you would have seen in a boot sale video I picked up for, I think it was 10p or 50p. Uh, not a lot at all. A few of the Power Rangers, Ghostbusters, Mario, Gargles. I don't even know what's behind here. I can see a little Jurassic Park. I'm not going to pull everything off. But yeah, lo lots of knickers. There's a graded Donatello. Uh, soft head as well. Yeah, who's that in the back? Is that Mad Max? That's Mad Max. Yeah, I don't even know what I've got. Loads of different bits and pieces. Who like this shelf? Oh, actually, let's do this. Let's put this here for a minute. Because I think hiding behind him is, is another little grail, to be fair, that we just got hidden away. It's just still Mighty Max. Uh, yeah. What's behind here? Oh, Demolition Man. What's behind Demolition Man? Everything's going to fall. Dark side superpowers. Oh, you've got Michael Jordan Space Jam behind. But yeah, guys. Yeah, it's just... These are just the ones I used to have on display. It's one of my best charity shop finds ever. £2.50. You'd have seen that in the video. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've moved all these guys over here now. So now you can see them a bit better. 
but you can see space wise guys I'm, look, I haven't got a big enough space to be displaying everything but yeah there's the man himself that Django absolute quality boots I'll find of 2022 10 pound Legion of Doom car did uh, go back and watch the video guys Hero Gladiators got a few of those Loads of Star Wars Buffy in bits and pieces. There's a Shogun Warrior. Just chilling. Tales from the Crypt Keeper doll from Dan Plastics. Power Rangers. Loads of, I don't want to say graded, but it's like, uh, they're all boxed. What is it? The Remco Karate Kid figures. Turtles. Captain Planet. 90s. All 90s. Again, all 90s. All Mario. There's all the Mario toys. Mario. Let's get that up. Whoa, you got Mario. Let's not break all days. Let's not break all days. Got one of the sound bars. What's this? Break it up. Break it up. So you've got that. Guys, there's pretty much tonnage in here. And this is out of all the tubs. So you look here. So we're talking about PlayStation 1 the other week. I showed you the drawer. I've got tubs and tubs of PlayStation 1. There's a little Atari Lynx just chilling. Uh, and then what was the other one I was just about to show you guys? Oh, yeah, in terms of graded. So I always get graded bits and pieces, guys. I've got loads just lying around. Comics. I did get a Temigachi quite a while back. What one's this from? What year is this? 96, 97. Cool little thing. Eight. So that's graded. Uh, yeah, guys. This is just the app building. I, I really want to get in the loft this year. I really want to get in the loft. And just show you guys everything that's up there. Uh, now, when I'm saying loft... That lot, I haven't been in that lot for about three years. That's my honest. I haven't opened the, the hatch for about three years. It's protected up there, but it's absolutely full to the rim. Absolutely full. Lot of, lot of, lot and lot of quality stuff up there. I am going to be bringing it down this summer and filling, well, it mostly fill this, uh, but bringing that down quite a bit, mostly all the toys and just filling in here. Uh, just because it needs to stay in there and maybe just get up in the loft and look at what I've got because I've got some quite desirable comics, expensive comics that potentially there's like three or four, three or four of them. So I'm, I, I maybe need to just get rid of like two of them maybe. Everyone's saying you need to get rid of three, Scott. Maybe you need to get rid of four, uh, like Spider-Man 300s. I think I've got a couple of Hulks, 181. Uh, so kind of those, and then I'd say medium to high grade. First Black Panther, that's a high grade actually. So I need, I need to get up there, guys. I need to get up there. I've got a lot of CGCs up there as well. So I need to get up, kind of thin that collection a little bit because they're not doing anything up there, right? They are not doing anything up there. All I'm doing is I'll have them on show if I get to have them on show one day or they're just sitting in a box. Someone might as well enjoy them and I can put that money back into the collection, especially if, I'm keep, if I've got four, right? Get rid of three. Just keep one. Keep one. I don't need four. But I, I always used to do this and I do it with toys sometimes. You would have seen with a Pikachu. Prime example, guys. Prime example is the Detective Pikachu. I, if I see something, I'm like, oh, I want that. I end up picking up three or four. And it's a little... that It's going past collecting, right? When you're picking up threes and fours of certain things. I only need one. So I need to start thinning out those duplicates. Not thinning out the collection. Do not take this to wrong. I am not thinning out any collections. I'm getting rid of the duplication. That's my next bit. But guys, it's been fantastic. Apologies I haven't put out much videos. I've actually lost... Uh, and I'm I'm pointing a finger at my brother at the moment because I done a pick I done his toy uh, toy his toy tour of his room and I think I've put down the actual I want to say like the case for the GoPros going go in that then I can clip onto my rack sack I've misplaced the clip so at the moment all I can do is hold onto the GoPro or put it down and film uh, hence why I haven't been able to finish my hunting video charity shot but I'm still going into charity shots and finding good stuff and I can't film it because I don't want to walk around just with it or with my phone. I like to just have it on my backpack and then edit as I need to. And then what was the other one? And then I'm going to the card show soon. I'm going to London card show in the next three weeks. Uh, I've brought VIP tickets for me and my brother. We're going there. We are absolutely excited. I'm committing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up a grail piece. If the price is good, I want to pick up. So if the price is right, I want to pick up a sealed pack of the original Pokemon trading cards just one pack i can't obviously can't afford a box uh but if there's if there's a pack and it's a few hundred that sounds crazy to say it sounds absolutely crazy but i'd love just to have a pack because i've got the collections i've got my childhood collections but i'd love a pack i should have just kept a pack when i was a kid i don't know why i didn't 
Uh, but that's what I want to do. Guys, I can go on for ages. Also coming to the channel this year is people think, oh, no, let me reframe that. So what's coming to the channel this year is I've got the spare GoPro. So when I first started, I had a Hero 7 or 8. I've got that. I'm giving that to my brother. My brother, because my brother wants to start doing footage, but he doesn't want to do any of the YouTube and the editing pieces. So I'm becoming, I'm going to become the editor for my brother as well. And I will start putting his videos on the channel. Or I don't know yet if we're going to make a second channel. So I might make a second channel and just do when it's me and him hunting. And then our single stuff are going to my channel. We're not too sure yet. Or we might just put it all onto my channel as it is. So there's just constant uh, content going out. Because it's tough over the winter periods in the UK. Especially where I am. I have no boot sales at all. I, I'm, I still not got them now. They don't come back till March. I've got the timetables for all the ones that are near me. But it's not till March. I drove up to one today because I thought, is it on? Let me check. Because there's some boot sales that are on, to, on now on Saturdays and Sundays. So I drove up to Honeydale Farm. Uh, it's not on at all yet, so I thought I'd go into the local Asda on the way home, which is quite funny. And there, blatantly, I don't know if it's a big thing or not. Everyone's like, I can't really found it. There's just a pallet of Prime, so I picked out a couple of Prime because everyone's banging on about the Prime. I thought I'm just going to try it. Uh, it's in the fridge in a minute, so I need to try that. But I, I just thought it's quite funny that I see loads of people going Garrity. I've just walked in, picked three up because you, you can only pick three up in Asda, and then gone straight out. No, no hassle at all. It was the middle of the day. They must have had a few cases or just putting them out. I don't know. I saw a young kid with a dad walking past and I thought, I'm going to ask because I'm so intrigued. I see all this stuff about people kicking off over it. You know, the fights, the prices, etc. And they said, yeah, aisle, aisle 17, the energy drinks is down there. They're putting it out now. I went down there. There's loads of kids just picking at it. Uh, and I just picked three up. Casually as that. No hass. Just walked over, picked three up straight out. Picked up what I needed and gone. Uh, so I've got that to try as well because that's been balmy, isn't it, this year? All the prime bits and pieces. Uh, but guys, that being said, I could chat for ages and I think this is what we want to do on the other... If we do the other channel or we keep it on here, uh, we want to do more live chats. Now, my, brother, my brother's getting more tech... I say tech... I was going to say tech heavy. He's getting... He's understanding tech a lot more. This is coming from a guy who never had a smartphone a year ago and he still had the Nokia 8210 with snakes on it. Never had an email, etc. Even in this current time... With jobs and everything, never had an email. It was, I was doing everything for him, uh, and he's taken that all over now. He knows he has to. He has to understand it a bit more. Do it all. You see him if you follow him on Instagram, Slim Catty eighty four. I think he's on there non stop, non stop. I wouldn't say follow him because you could unfollow him like two days later with the amount of stuff he puts up. He's opening boxes. He's tidying. He's showing you bits and pieces. It's it's a great life. A great a great uh, Instagram. I guess channel page to look at. Uh, but Slim Catty 84 that's my brother's page. So he'll do bits and pieces on there. When he goes to toy fairs, etc., he'll do little videos and put some on Instagram. Uh, but in terms of YouTube, we are... Well, he's not. He doesn't know this yet. He definitely wants to do the filming with a GoPro. But I'm not too sure if I should do a second channel and keep it where it's just me and him hunting at shows. And the boot sale, bits and pieces, they all stay on this channel. And then we do, we're do. we going to start doing some live chats, etc. Try and get a bit more people involved from the community. Uh, just have, have a bit of a chat, right? Bring back some of these memories, especially during the weekdays when there's not a lot of content, especially in the UK going out. Uh, it'd be good just to understand trends, etc. Because this year for me, guys, I'm wrapping on a bit now, uh, but this year for me has to be very different in terms of how I conduct myself at the boot sales, in terms of bits and pieces I pick up. So gaming's going to be bloody hard. There's a lot of us doing it. Toys were hard last year. It's going to be harder this year. And then I think from a reset, a general reseller point of view, there's a lot more people doing the side hassles now. Cost of living is huge and affecting a lot of people. I was going to say in the UK, but it's around the world, right? And I think it there has always been a cost of living crisis, but it's getting worse with everything that's going on in the world and energy prices, etc., all going up. You could do a whole hour on that, couldn't you? Uh, so I think there's a lot more resellers. You're seeing more people going into clothing, going into toys, going into anything you can make a profit if the price is cheap enough pick it up, sell it for a profit. Uh, and I see a lot more resellers that were doing clothing, furniture, bits and pieces now, 100% moving into uh, retro collecting bits and pieces to sell. So your games, consoles, figures, cards, final, moving into all that stuff where they were just concentrating on clothing or furniture before. So it's a harder market out there. But this year, I, I sat down. Over the time I've not done videos, I always sit down, always jolting, jolting always noting stuff down in notebooks. Because uh, I'm old school, like, I've still got pen and paper, guys. Uh, and I've got a plan in terms of things I'm going to hit this year. 
And I'm not going to give it away yet because I want to do a video on it. But things I'm going to hit this year that I think could give me a return of a few hundred pounds. When I say a few hundred, maybe five or six hundred pounds if, if it goes right at the end of the season to trade into CEX. And no, I don't think anyone else would be looking for this stuff. So I've got a couple of categories and I'm like, actually, no one hits this. It's only me that's been hitting this up. Uh, so I'm going to potentially do that. See where I get to with that. If it doesn't work, I'll just we, I'll have a little conversation like now and tell you how I'm getting on. Guys, let's leave it there. I'm rabbiting, I'm rabbiting, I'm rabbiting. Guys, I love the bits and pieces I've picked up. Absolutely love the toys. Guys, let me know in the comments. Would you open this? I think I would. Look, it's starting to come out the bottom. I think I'm going to tear this open. And then any information on our good friend, Chip Hazard, in Action Man form. Uh, so, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh no, pick up for the day. Why am I picking up all that? It's my banner. It's my Ninja Turtle banner. Secret of the use. Turtles 2. Vanilla Ice is on there, right? Uh, and Splinter. All on the same banner with the Turtles. I don't know where I'm even going to display that, but I'm keeping it. Uh, guys, it costs... So, I'll tell you what it cost me. It cost me £90. I don't know if that's good or bad. I was buying it anyway. I don't see these Turtle banners around. Uh, never seen a Turtles one anyway that big. And the guy, bless him, he was coming over from Ireland. He didn't even charge me post and packaging. The post and packaging on him, it was 30 quid. Uh, so I need to go back to him. He's got loads of other different movie memorabilia bits and pieces and some posters, some first edition posters, uh, one sheet. So I will go back, given this is a smooth transaction. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm leaving it there. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Stay tuned. There's a lot of coming there's a lot coming there's a lot coming on the channel over the next couple of months uh conventions shows boot sales start back up for me in march uh and then hopefully simon come on let's reach out to simon get your act together give me some footage so i can start editing and putting it on the channel all right guys take care stay safe till next time bush